the barrage of recent announcements about royal health, the spotlight is now firmly on what happens when royals become ill. From what this means for their working timetables, to how and when their staff update the public, the wheels are in motion for dealing with this, thankfully not usual, set of circumstances. And one aspect of the situation that people may be curious about is how the royal family's healthcare system works. We take a look at some key points. Royal family members are continuous champions of the UK's National Health Service, but do they actually use it themselves? In short, the answer isn't usually, but that's not the snuff some people initially interpret it as being. When members of the royal family access medical care, two of the top considerations are their privacy and their security. However, if they need to go into hospital, how their presence might disrupt other patients and care systems is also a factor. Private hospitals are usually smaller with more private rooms, making all the considerations above much easier to manage. However, NHS hospitals are usually bigger and often have more facilities, and so the royals have access them when necessary. Not long before his death in 2021, Prince Philip was transferred to London's St. Bartholomew's Hospital, which is run by Bart's Health NHS Trust, for observation for an existing heart condition. When he needed an emergency heart procedure in 2011, this was carried out at the NHS Papworth Hospital in Cambridge. Prince Harry's hernia operation when he was three years old was carried out at the Great Ormond Street Hospital for Sick Children, an NHS Trust.